X9 First Warning Meteorologist Jennifer Ketchmark. She went to Dry Ridge Elementary School last week to talk to some fourth graders about the eclipse. They had some great questions for her. So good, in fact, we wanted to share them with you in our eclipse minute. So here is the first one from fourth grader Kaylin Schultzman. The question is, how long does a solar eclipse last for? How long is it going to last? Well, if you're just talking about totality, that's four minutes at the maximum, but there is so much more you can enjoy and it all starts at around 1:52 there on Monday afternoon. So that's when the moon will go in front of the sun and you'll see that transition that bite getting bigger and bigger for over an hour. So you can do different experiments and get outside totality though. That's going to happen at around 309 start the clock. It's not going to last long, but then again for over an hour. Once we get past totality, you'll have the transition of the moon moving away the sun, the bite getting smaller and smaller and eventually back to normal and it all concludes around 424 in the afternoon. Of course, all this pending that we end up with a mostly sunny sky or a clear sky there on the eclipse day. Yes, that is the big question for cities in that path of totality. Of course, they're hoping that the eclipse watchers are going to bring an economic boost and uh, that includes much of Indiana. I think it's a rare opportunity because most of the state is in totality that no matter where you are, that somebody's going to benefit. Metamora, a town of less than 4,000 people expecting thousands on April 8th. Even a local ice cream shop there has ordered 168 gallons of ice cream. That's doubled the usual amount for this time of year. They just want to be super prepared.